plaintiff, Travis Simpson, says the defendant hired him to work at her fried chicken franchise. But soon after, he realized she was a bigot who discriminated against him because he's gay. Travis claims he worked there less than a month, and on his last day, the defendant's husband chased him out of the establishment with a gun, so he's suing. Defendants Denise Castleman and her husband Jason say when Denise hired Travis, he was homeless. And although she was not offended by Travis's behavior, other employees were. Denise claims on Travis's last day, he went crazy and was throwing chicken around the restaurant. And she's countersuing for emotional distress. Start with you. Okay, um, I began working for Miss Denise as a supervisor for her fried chicken franchise. And from day one, she was a When bigot. did you start? I started on April 26th, Your Honor. Um, she was very hypocritical. She was a bigot. She referred to me by um, using all types of horrible, you know, gay offenses. Gay slurs? Yes, sir. Then her husband, at the end, her husband chased me out of the restaurant at gunpoint. And How long did you work there? I worked there for one month. Not even. Give me a little more uh, detail on what happened. Okay, well, on, I, ended, I got hired and I started my first day of work on April 26th. I really felt good about working with her. She discussed a few of the problems that they was having with the store, with the managers being the friends with the uh, crew and just how stuff wasn't working out. Um, we made slow progress at first until about May 18th when we had a manager meeting. Um, pretty much at the manager meeting, she, uh, her daughter, Jaquise, which is the assistant manager there, and De Mrs. Denise pretty much yelled at the whole team about the expired chicken, poor customer service, the store was back dirty, and stuff just wasn't getting done. Nobody really wanted to talk about the real problem that was going on in the store. What was that? Yeah. Jaquise stealing money out of everybody's deposits, stealing money out of the safe. That's the... the That's daughter. her daughter. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, she was giving food out to her boyfriend. How do you know the... all this? Because I used to work with her. You would see it? Yeah. Okay. Um, she would close the store whenever she wanted to. My last three days I worked uh, for her company. Every single time I would come in for my closing shift, the store would be closed. It wouldn't be no sides. She just was doing what she used it as a playground to do whatever she wanted to. On May 28th, her and her daughter started this thing where they was calling everybody ranch it. They started calling me ranch it. And I could, she just, she didn't like You said like everybody. Me. Was everybody gay? No. no. Well, then they were just talking about you then. Exactly. You said okay, everybody was wretched. Okay. I um, need to hear what they said about or to you regarding your sexual orientation. To make the long story short, I call another supervisor. I don't know how she heard me call her a but I did. She was being a I was getting my money stolen. I knew she was talking about me. That's how she was being. So I guess she, she gets mad. The she, owner or the daughter? Mrs. Denise. So after... My I, crew had him on the speakerphone. Yeah. I heard him say this. Okay, they had him on I'm the speakerphone. I'm not denying that. Yeah. Okay, so when she gets here, first of all, this is how she walks into the store. Can you please leave? Can you please leave? She kicks all the customers out of the store. So I'm like, whoa, what's going on? She about to flip. So she was like. <laughs> Go ahead. So she was like, I no, want to be honest with you. If I hear Doyle say that, I'm going to clear the courtroom. She. <laughs> if I hear my subordinate call me that, I'm clearing the courtroom. I'm say, please leave. Me and him have some business. <laughs> Go ahead, though, sir. She says, so, please leave. She clears the store. She clears the store out. <laughs> She comes in, I want to hear you call me a B now. Now that I got my husband to whoop your A. That's how she come in. So I'm like, Miss Denise, I'm sorry. I'm trying to plead with her. She like, no, get this, get this. So by then I grabbed my tea. I made me an A piece and I hits the back door. <laughs> I did. I'm just being totally honest about what happened. I swear on my soul. This is what happened. I grabbed, I tried to grab my eight piece before I can even get out the door. Her and her husband, Kat, this is not funny. Her and her husband, Katie Clinton, in the corner. I couldn't even get out. They wouldn't let me out of the front well, front door. So I, I don't know how the Lord. I end up getting out of the Katie corner and I run through the kitchen or whatever. Her husband like charged toward me like a football player. You know what I mean? He running. So I throw my iced tea 
behind him, think that's gonna stop him. He dodged the iced tea. So he chases me onto oncoming traffic. He chases me on the oncoming traffic on Cleveland Avenue. I'm telling you, cars is going 50 miles per hour on this bend. I'm running in the middle of them. I'm ducking, <laughs> dodging cars. And he chases me down a, a, a down corrugated way, pointing his gun, talking about he a state trooper. This man was not no police officer. They was trying to kidnap me. They was trying to do something horrible to me that day. I'm not playing. So I'm like, why, why do you need me, officer? What are you t arresting me for? I need the store keys. You stole the store keys. I said, Hold up. I don't even I don't even want to be back up there. Why on earth would I steal their keys? They don't have no money up in there. Why would but I steal their keys? The money. But sir. Yeah, right. Ma'am. Your firstborn stole the money. Let and, her, sorry. Go ahead. Anything else you want to say before I allow them to give some background? I swear before Jesus, I really gave it my all. I really tried to help this lady run this restaurant. I would have done anything to help her run this restaurant, but she didn't care once she realized that I was gay. Okay. You say everything was all right until she realized you were gay. And yes. that's my question. When do you think she realized it? I told everybody, because I, I when, hear- When, 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 when? On May 18th, Your Honor, at the manager's meeting. 10 days before she called you a slur. Then she called you the slur May 28th. Yes. All yes. right. What changed between May 18th and May 28th to give you the impression you were being treated like that because you were gay. Because she she was nice to me until I told her I was gay at the manager meeting. And then at the manager meeting, I was trying to plead my case with her. And I'm like, Miss Denise, I don't know how I can plead. I she don't know. was never nice to you again after no, May 18th. No, she was not. No, she was not whatsoever in any. And then on the 28th, she called you a gay slur. Mm -hmm. And you called a woman to be out of her name. She called I didn't you call out it of your to her name. face, Your Honor. I was okay. talking about her. Go ahead, ma'am. Let me hear you all side. Um, not one time did I ever discriminate against Travis. He told me he was homeless, and I believe that's when my heart reached out to him. Okay, let me get you started. The problem I had with Travis was he came to work. Everybody was honey boo boo, babe, girlfriend. No, the there truth. was one crew that member that truth. I had that's a, a elderly lady, well, older than everybody else in the store. She came to the manager and said, um, I don't like when Travis calls me boo boo or babe. When my shift manager brought it to my attention, I said, OK, schedule a meeting. I told my daughter, which is my assistant mm -hmm. manager, I said, Jaquise, I want everybody there at that meeting. Every manager, if they are not there, they this don't have a job. your daughter here? This is one of my the daughters. The one that's robbing you blind, or it's the no. other one? No. It's the other one? No, the other no. One. Which one no. robbing you blind? Neither one. Oh, yeah. he say, which one no. he say robbing you Jaquise. blind? Jaquise. Okay. All the right. one that he doesn't like. Where's she at? She at the store I, now? She's at the store. <laughs> she's at, I better let y'all yes. go quick. No, Hurry up. No. I mean, I'm fine with <laughs> I'm just kidding with you. Um, <laughs> I um, called the uh, meeting, spoke with Travis. Travis was like, Miss Denise, I just don't know how to please you. And I said, you don't have to please me. I have a husband. No, I'm a homosexual. I said, Travis, I know that, but we're not going to go there. <laughs> and I felt like Travis was trying to take the floor. And I said, no, Travis, we're, um, we're not going there. We're going to just finish this meeting mm -hmm. so that we can get the store open. Um, on the day in questioning, I had got a phone call from Jaquise, my assistant manager of that location, and she said, Ma, you need to get over to the store. I said, what's going on? She said, Travis has flipped. I said, what do you mean flipped? She said, he got chicken going across the counter. I said, you mean he's giving food out? She said, no, ma'am. Um, Neil, which is one of my crew, said he's throwing chicken across the counter. He used profanity. <laughs> I have um, statements. Did any of this happen, sir? I swear for Did any you, of no, these complaints no, occur? Never. This is the first time you're hearing this? I've never this? thrown a piece of Is this of the chicken? first yes. time you're hearing yes, it? Yes, Your Honor. Go ahead. He um, took two of my headsets, he crossed over the street, went to the bus stop, took my headsets, and threw them on the ground. I had to have those headsets replaced. When I got to the store, everybody was in the lobby. There was chicken on the floor. I'm like, what on God's okay. green earth? All right. Uh, let, what evidence did you want me to see? Um, I wanted you um, to see the statements and... From co-workers? From, em yes, my employees. Mm -hmm. And um, those are Travis's um, write-ups. The whole time it, I've please. been in the management um, business, I have never had as 518, many complaints. 518, 520, 528, 520. So she was writing you up, sir. Your Honor, I, yeah. I, mm -hmm. she never wrote me up. 
-hmm. And I'm looking where she told you about deposits, that you were $200 short. This is not allowed. This money will be paid back. This is the first time you're hearing it, huh? Your Honor, Travis, I the closing manager on Saturday, he left the store very dirty. He didn't allow his crew to finish their duties. Rode up again, the 20th. I don't know, none of this got to do with gay, sir. Your I don't Honor, see any I've of this having to do with gay. What else do you have? Witness statement, sir. Let's see them. What she are, who are these? her employees. Who are these? She made them write it right. My manager, Travis, came and started yelling, calling my area manager, Mrs. Denise, very disrespectful names. He threw the headset he was wearing on his head from working drive through on the ground. My coworker picked it up. Here's a different one. Travis tried to send me home because he said, I don't have time to deal with your attitude. I, I said, I, I don't have an attitude. Then he told me to get the out. He was using curse words in front of the customers and said he was leaving. I don't see what that has to do with being gay either. Your Honor, so I'm not going to let you play the gay card. Happened. Folks play the gay card, they play the, the white time. card, they play the Latino yep. card, they play the black card. I'm not going with that today. I don't see any evidence of anything having to do with your sexual orientation. All I've heard is you called your boss a B, and your boss retaliated against you. Perhaps she should have been more professional if she said what you allege. But I'm not gonna hold that this woman harassed you because of your sexual orientation or that she discriminated against you because of your sexual orientation. You called her a female slur. And it sounds like she retaliated with a gay slur. So that offsets each other, in my opinion. What unpaid wages does she owe you for? We done with all that, sir. Let's get to your wages. Okay, this is a $250 deduction. I guess it's for those headsets that I never broke. I never broke her headsets. Ma'am, what is the deduction for? That is for the headset that he destroyed. Did you discuss um, it with him? I did. I did, um, and I didn't take it out. I have no um, access to the payroll. The Who owner, took it out then? The, the owner took it out, and that's, that shouldn't even be against me. That should be against the um, franchisee. I mean, I didn't. You're I, right. I have no. Does to she do make with payroll and write no. checks? No. She he, shorted me 24 hours off my check. Excuse me, Judge. We have a payroll slip here from the payroll company. Let's see it, please. With all his hours and earnings, he received. Whatever he clocks in, he we have enough. Um, Who payroll. has the ultimate responsibility? The owner. The owner, yes, the sir. The franchisee, sir. You're suing the wrong people about your money. And did you all run across the street chasing him? Yeah, that's a little emotional distress, <laughs> sir. Did you do that? No, sir. Yes, you did. <laughs> the way you said that, you did. <laughs> you know if this man call your wife that name, you're going to chase him. No, sir. <laughs> What's your emotional distress um, for, man? If I meet a certain quota um, within three months, I get a bonus. My bonus is $3,000. Um, Travis, with all the um, emails coming from corporate, we have a certain percentage that we have to meet. That went totally out the window. Um, I didn't meet the quota for us keeping down the complaints um, for us running the How can store? you attribute all of that to him? No one else did wrong because in your Travis, entire... Pardon? No, be, and the reason why I said Don't believe I didn't that, get it... Be, You're not going to convince unfair. me that he is the only one that caused you to lose your bonus. I have a letter from the owner. The same owner that shortchanged the man his money? He didn't money? shortchange him. <laughs> He didn't shortchange him. You chased him. a man all over the city, and you're you blaming him for you. I'm granting you $1,000, sir, for all the attacks that he committed against you. Your claim is dismissed. I don't believe you can attribute all of your problems to him. Have a good day. $1,000 for the plaintiff. Like, you know I did not Travis, destroy your store. Denise, how can you sit up and say Travis, why are I you complaining? You're, you're getting what you wanted. No, I want you $5, tore up our headset. I did not tear up Work their for it. Work I did not it. throw Work away all that chicken. I didn't do none of that. You have they said that and they dogged me. You are garbage. You Please. are trash. You're ignorant. Whatever you want to say, honey. I'm not even going to sit up here and discuss this with you. Have you didn't clap day. your hands. Have you're childish. Grow up. Have a good day. Have a good day.